look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe what can Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform? I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. He says he's embarrassed. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you. Please, help my son. Deluge of blood is coming for you all. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger? Marshal Kwan. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. A mother will say anything to save her child. If you they are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die for some offenses. We have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or indeed. We'll have our revenge! If we ain't gonna beg for our lives! We ain't weak like you! Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. <laughs> People here kept us out in the cold. Letting us starve to death while they figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the Dorseys. The magistrate agreed. So, here I am. My magistrate's a hard man. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, we were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? It's nice talking to you. Death this kid's cannon. going into pillories next. Death hey, the hunters. What brings you here? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Doyces were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show leniency. You wish to come? That's the price in Colorado dollars. This is irregular. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Soon as they let me free. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. We'll have our revenge. You, you ain't rangers seen the last are us. heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. No regret. No repentance! How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum when the Too attack started. Too old to Jesus. fight the Dorseys, they the said. The Dorseys? Ah. Um, I'm sure she's okay. Yeah.
We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we don't need to pull some resources from another district to do it. Huh. Sheriff won't like that. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and And by Quam. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. And I'm glad now the Dorsey's host and pl go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready. <laughs> She's making a joke. At last. <clears throat> We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't weak like you. else would I even Garden keep a shotgun around if I don't use Square. it? Do you Marshall know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys! They won't be scared of a scrawny This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful, though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Murdering fox! Ready when you are!
What's the matter? Go away! Taiwan. It is. We best stay back. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Really? I'm back in business. That's not going to hold. You wanna set your tire bead real quick and look impressive doing it? I've got a trick. Mm -hmm. Set the tire on fire. Except don't use gasoline. Yeah, well, she's smart enough to know that. Anyway, just a quick shot of flannel. Hey, Doc. Quan. Understood, brother. Yeah. Keep going. 